Welcome to LoseWeightVeryFast.com. I'm going to be kicking off my site with some really good soup recipes. And this is uh, what better place to find the best soups than my mother, who makes the best, healthiest soups ever. And uh, I'm really looking forward today to showing my audience how to make a very healthy and uh, lean, mean soup. So we're gonna get started today, and I'm gonna. I'm also gonna. You're gonna have an article as well. I'm gonna post some information. So not only are you gonna have a video, but I'm also going to have some content for you, so you can make. You can just simply copy the recipe, um, and really make something special for your family, and make it light and healthy, to help you, not only for weight loss, but for your health and wellness goals to make you feel better. My mother, best friend, is making chicken soup, probably the healthiest soup you can eat, known for all sorts of uh, benefits, including weight loss, health and wellness, I mean, you name it, you, you wanna colds feel better, and colds flus. and flus. Th this is gonna be great stuff. Get ready for this, okay? Th you're watching a genius in action. Now, what I do, is what most people don't do because I learned from an original. I learned from Rose Rosenfield. And Rose Rosenfield didn't have the cleanliness that we have today. Mm -hmm. Chickens used to come with all the feathers on them. I only buy kosher chickens. They are the tastiest, the healthiest, the cleanest. Mm -hmm. And I buy a nice big fat kosher chicken. And then all I do is just pick out the fat. And if there's any remnants of any feathers, I literally just pick them out. But you need to use the skin because it is the skin that gives the amazing taste, even though you have to skin the fat from the top afterwards. Uh, if that doesn't look tasty, I don't know what does. Now, I want everybody to keep in mind, dinner is in five and a half hours. It's Friday at approximately 1240. My mother is making dinner for a party of seven, maybe eight people. And she's making this soup, which typically takes you're usually supposed to prepare the day before, however. Because the taste, it's tastier from the day before. Because there you go. The chicken has soaked in the liquid. But so today it, she's it, making this. Exactly. Soup, one of the few soups that yes, gets better and better. This is real. You're seeing this raw. Uh, this, is, this is the best soup maker in the world making her soup in a few hours. You're watching an expert super. Okay. okay. Just it's all about presentation. Well, no, I'm not the best presentation person, to be honest. The first thing I do mm -hmm. is I boil the water because that way I know the water is really mm -hmm. sterilized, but you don't really have to. I do it because of Rose Rose and Fiona. I see. And I do two lots, and then I put it on. First, I just stick it on for. This is the time consuming, silly nonsense that a lot of people don't do, mm -hmm. but I do for cleanliness. That's it for now. Okay. Now, how long does that stay on there, the, the, the hot water? The hot water stays now. And, until it's uh, completed. Until it's complete. And I'm going to add another thing of water. Now, I'm putting in there three sticks of celery, and three sticks of spring onions you call scallions. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I peeled an onion. This onion. I will put half inside. Holy crap. I'm going to cut it. For taste. What are we really watching here? Doesn't matter how you cut the onion. It's irrelevant. Mm -hmm. It depends what mood I'm in, what angle I'm in. I understand. I might do it one way, I might do it another way. I like to stick it in all the crevices. Grew quite polite, but now I think it's repulsive. You so, met because she had gas. So right. she cut off the feet and she beat Who had gas? My mother had gas, oh. not electric. Oh, so it was I fire. thought she had gas. So well, I'm was, thinking the wrong it thing. It was fire. Right. So. Obviously, back in the 50s and the 60s, you used to have to pluck the feet. I mean, At least it was full of feathers, the real feathers. Right. Look. Understood. And the little eggs would be in there. Oh. With this all around it. Yes. I'm going to put this in the sink. It's in the holder it uh -huh. came in. Because you never put anything in the sink. Sinks have a lot of bacteria. Okay. You drop something in the sink, you throw it out. Exactly. <clears throat> Every crevice you can dump in, even if you have to make some. And when I say make a crevice, you just stick your knife in. And then you stick in their things. I do it with, not, I don't make chicken soup with garlic. But then you stick it in, and this way you get soup. It goes all the way. There you go. It's beautiful. Unbelievable. Okay, the water. Put boiling water on it. And then we're going to put more water in that pot. And then I wait about half an hour. Then I put the carrots in because I don't want them getting too soft. Oh, look at this. But that's not enough. I'm going to put boiling water on it from the kettle. To kill all the bacteria. To kill all the bacteria. The water has boiled. Okay. So what we're going to do now. Now this is the second water. boiling hot water. We pour it on the chicken. And it shrinks up a bit. You have to do it up. There you go. The rest I'll put into the pot. You have to be careful with your fingers. It's boiling. Of course. So I guess if and me, an unknowing person, water's here. right? So it makes its own broth by you doing this. Of course. Okay. You and don't then okay. that's plenty of water. It deteriorates, by the way. I see. It will deteriorate. Keep it on four for a while. And and then that's then, it, right? No. Okay. Sorry. Then always clean up as you go along, or it gets out of control. Mm-hmm. Then you get pepper. What Black type do you pepper. Black pepper. Then you put plenty of black pepper in there. And some dill. And some dill. You can use parsley as well. I usually have dill and parsley. I don't have my I forgot to get the parsley. I put some in now and I'll put a little in later. So you have in there 
you have your whole onion, you have your scallions, you have two, three pieces of celery, you have dill, and in 30 minutes, you're going to put in carrots. I'll see you then. Let's go over what we're putting in here. I should have put it in first, I forgot. One minor correction. Um, I always put in a giant carrot, then I'll put in small carrots later, so everyone gets carrots. I put in a parsnip, which absolutely gives it amazing taste. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> you can't show that. <laughs> oh boy. On the floor. <laughs> We promise we won't tell everybody around the world. You put in a turnip and you put in a parsnip. It can work without these things, but if you've got them, it's great. Look at all this sticking out. Don't show this. This is gross. Okay. Now, me being an undereducated eater, how long does this sit here? this chicken and broth and well the first phase is about an hour an hour and a half then I start when it starts falling to pieces I start taking off the skin because most people don't want the bones in the skin so what I do in the beginning but that's in like the second half you don't do that yet the first you half wait. now we got to cook it okay now the best way to cook it mm -hmm. do it on a fork keep an eye on it put a wooden spoon there and put a top Now, on when it. you say four for people that don't have electronic stoves, what what temperature setting would You're you? You're going to have to figure that out. Okay, so would you say three, four hundred degrees? I don't oh. know. Okay, I'd be guessing. So a number four. I watch it. I'm going to have to turn it down to okay. three, and then I leave it for an hour, an hour and a half. Okay. This is the first phase. Got it. An hour and a half, and you just have it sit there. Great. So it's now two hours later. And uh, the soup has um, deteriorated, as you can see, it's evaporated. And I do two things now. I now have it on two. I add some more carrots. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Whatever you like, you put in. And I add a little ginger. You can either do fresh ginger or ground ginger. Oh, it just gives it a good taste. Mm -hmm and push them to the bottom and you put your uh, spoon in the middle, a wooden spoon, and you see if it's coming off the bone because that will be our next step. When it comes off the bone, we then take all the skin off. My family doesn't like the skin or the bones, so it has to be taken out and it has to be skinned and the bones have to be taken out and then it's all put back. But because of the water evaporating, I just get rid of some of the fat. Get another dish for the fat. You just skim the top for the fat and throw that out because from the skin, if you have a look, right. there's a lot of fat. Oh, you wow. don't want to. Uh, you don't want to eat that fat. Great weight loss tip. So you just. And then I'll be adding a little more water. It doesn't matter, you still get lots of taste. Just take all, you can see exactly, it like goes like a skin, like you've got to skin the top. And then you do it again. Otherwise you're gonna have a big coating of fat on the top. And then on that note, I'm going to put a little more water in. That's been boiling. Boiling water, okay. Well, it was, I, I didn't boil it this was, time, but it's been boiled. It's been boiled, there you go. okay. And now another 30 minutes with the carrots, and then we'll skin it. It's coming off. I can see I could put my spoon through the middle. Wow. So that's the next thing. We'll leave it on number two for another 20, 30 minutes. I actually would have put the carrots in before, but I didn't. Um, so that's fine. Okay, goodbye. Tiny bit oh of 
little and tiny a bit. A little tiny bit of the kosher consomme, because remember, we haven't used any salt at all, only right. pepper. So this, this has sodium. This is the only thing. And that's thing plenty of that really flavor you'll need. Natural. Right. Yeah. This is the only thing, just maybe that much for taste. Then it dissolves immediately. And that's all you need. And this will continue to cook. And that's the end of it. Now we just take it apart. Thank you. Come We're on. here for phase three. This is now four and a half hours into the cook. Mother, please explain. Okay, I've skimmed the fat off the top. It's a lovely color now from the vegetables and the chicken. Now what? Now's the dirty work. Now what I have to do is, my kids, again, I reiterate, hate the bones and any pink meat and any skin. So what I do is, I take it all out I lose a lot of chicken, but so be it. And we take off the skin and the bones. And then any pinky I keep put on the side and I give it to my dog. Well, this is see, it's lovely and soft now. So you can't always get everything because it's actually cooked about half an hour too long. Right. So, um, it shouldn't, it, you, what you do is you wait, when you see it's soft, that's when you do it. You see, there isn't that much soup there. But you can add water, it will be absolutely fine. Okay, so you're just gonna take off all the skin. I do it with my you're gonna, Are you gonna cut up, you're gonna cut up the chicken and put it back in the pot? Yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. But I won't get it all because it's too well done and all the bones. So you're saying as of now, this soup is ready to go. It's ready to go. And ready to be served. Ready to be served. Healthy soup made Healthy. with what type of, what type of um, um, any vegetable oil, anything else I should know about? No oil, no, there's nothing that isn't pure except for the chicken stock. Right. That gives it a little bit of Now, taste. is there a brand and of pepper. chicken stock you prefer? Yes, that, I showed it to you. What's the name one more time? Okay, you got it. Oh, some consomme. That's it. Well, this concludes the chicken healthy weight loss, health and wellness, healthy, just, just healthy chicken soup that's easy to prepare. It only takes about four, four and a half hours. Yeah, three and a half. Three and a half hours. There you go. From a flight to three Miami to New York, it's the same time. It takes about three and a half hours. Watch a little TV very easy to use and and very good for you and we hope you enjoy this as our dog has thank you